If you're struggling to shoot after the latest patch on 2K24, you came to the right place. As promised, I'm delivering y'all my new jump shot that I'm using on my 6'6 point guard. I honestly feel like this might be the best jump shot for all guards 6'5 to 6'9 that only requires an 86 three-pointer. So do your boy a favor, drop a like, sub the channel if you're new, because I'm telling you guys right now, if you just came to see the jump shot, you don't want to see it in action. The jump shot is at the end of the video, but I figured I'd give you guys a full gameplay with it. That way y'all can see that I'm actually cooking with it. Plus you can see how smooth it looks when you're actually using it in game. But like I said, I gave you an opportunity to go straight to the jump shot if you wanted, so just do me that favor and hit that thumbs up. Now for a little backstory on this jump shot, about a week ago I created a new one to use on my 6'6", and it was going crazy. But when I hopped on after the latest patch, I'm telling y'all I could not throw a rock in the ocean. And that was super unfortunate because I was actually just about to drop the jumper for y'all. So after getting dropped off one too many times, I finally decided to put together a new jump shot. And man, I didn't even take this thing to the Gatorade facility. I hopped straight back onto the 1v1 court, and we went on a five game win streak before I got off. During the entire five games, I never shot below 60% from three. And you can't even call it lucky shooting because as we all know, there is no amount of luck in this game that will make you shoot above 60% from three for five straight games. You either know your jump shot or you don't. So I think there is two reasons why this jump shot works so well. Number one, it still has very solid timing stability for being only an 86 three-pointer jump shot and being on max speed. And one thing I've noticed from the few different jump shots I've tested is that when your timing stability gets to a B minus or higher, that's when you really start to notice a difference and you don't get near as many random speed ups on your shot. And the other big factor in my opinion is just how smooth the jump shot is. There are no big hitches in it that are going to throw you off, which makes it a lot easier to time in different situations like off the dribble, going left, going right, off the catch. Now I already know what y'all are about to ask, what visual cue do I use? The answer is I use set point. Now with the recent patch, pretty much every jump shot is a little faster because there is way less delay. Now personally, that doesn't bother me at all because I'm someone who looks at my player's hands to know when to let go of the shot. But if you're someone who relies on feel and muscle memory to know when to let go of your shot, you might want to switch over to the next slowest shot timing. So if you were using set point before the patch and now you're struggling because you feel like your shot is maybe a little too fast, consider going over to push. With that being said, I would not recommend to anyone to go off of feel or, you know, muscle memory to know when to let go of your shot. That's because no matter how well you know your jump shot or how good your timing stability is on that shot, there's always going to be situations that speed up or slow down your jump shot. And even off of just different dribble moves, your player takes longer to get into a shot, so you're going to have to hold extra square for longer. So it's good to just know where in your player's jump shot animation you should let go of the shoot button to get a green release. If you're using set point on the jump shot in this video, which like I told y'all is at the end of the video, I would recommend letting go of the shoot button extra square when the ball gets to your player's forehead. One other thing that will help you guys shoot if you're struggling, and I can't say this enough, is to buy shooting boosts. Outside of turning off your jump shot meter, which if you haven't done already, you need to do that, I don't think there is anything else on this game that gives you a big of an increase to the size of your green window as buying jump shot boosts. And I know they cost VC, but 1500 VC will get you 10 games of jump shot boosts, which means that all you got to do to break even is just earn an average of 150 VC per game. And you should be earning at least 150 VC, even if you lose in a game mode like the 1v1 court. If you're someone who plays 5v5 game modes like Rec or Pro-Am or even Pro-Am 3v3s and you're not buying jump shot boosts, you are out of your mind because those give so much VC per game that 150 VC for a jump shot boost in one individual game is a no brainer. The other big thing that you can do to get a boost to your jump shot is to get your hotspots or your lethal zones. Now, obviously there's a few different ways to do this. Number one is to go to the lethal shooter gym. You can get two hotspots or lethal zones per week. The other way to do it is just hit your shots in game. That will automatically give you hotspots. Now I know there was a Gatorade facility method to get your hotspots, but I'm hearing that is patched. So I figured I would just let you guys know that. The last major tip I can give y'all, which this is not even a shooting tips video, so I don't know what I'm yapping about. So I'm, do me a favor, drop a like, because I'm giving y'all some extra content here. But anyways, the last major tip I got for y'all is to just keep shooting. As long as you just keep shooting good shots and looking for that spot on your jump shot to release in the right place, you will be able to figure it out. Do not get discouraged this year. Their green window this year is way smaller than it has been in previous years. It's a pure green window though. So every time you get it in that window, your shot is turning green. So no matter what, it's going to be a little bit more difficult this year to time your jump shot than it has been in previous years. But the good news is when you time it right, as long as you're not 100% smothered, it will go in. It hasn't always been like that. If you guys have been playing 2K for a while, you know about full bars where you would time your jump shot perfectly and the, you know, the RNG of the game just wouldn't let you hit the shot, even if you were wide open, sometimes even if you were in takeover. And that sucked. So just be confident when you shoot. Like I said, keep practicing, keep shooting. Do not be discouraged. You should be confident knowing that when you shoot an open shot, the ball is in your court. You have full control of whether that thing goes in or not. If you continue to practice, you will get better. You will start to be an above average shooter. What you don't want to do is just give up on shooting and then add fuel to the fire of that crowd that's like, oh, 2K, make shooting easier. Make it so whites go in. Make the green window big again because then you'll never be able to play defense on this game. So just trust me, in the long run, shooting being a little bit more difficult is better for the game. 
Now, as y'all can see here, we're finishing this thing off perfect from three. I know we had takeover for the last few shots, but I think our first three threes we hit without takeover all off the dribble. So, I mean, like I said, you know, you, there's only one way to get takeover and that's his shots. So we did that. Now, as promised, I'm putting y'all onto the jump shot. Here y'all go. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, you do need to have an 86 three pointer for this. But if you have a 6'6 build, you should most definitely have an 86 three pointer. I feel like some people are going 85, which I don't know why you wouldn't go the one extra to get that silver agent threes. That's beyond me. If you have a six foot eight, I can understand why you might not be able to afford this jump shot. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap things up for the video, y'all. Show some love on this video because I'm putting y'all on to the secret sauce today, man. I gave y'all some tips, and this wasn't even a shooting tips video, so I might put tips in the title. I might not. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I love y'all. God bless, and I'll catch you in the next one.